The Enigmatic Personal Life of Joseph Kennedy Sr., Untangling Fact and Rumor Joseph Kennedy Sr., a prominent figure in American history, is known for his influential role in business, politics, and as the patriarch of the Kennedy family. However, his personal life, particularly during his Hollywood tenure, has been the subject of much speculation and rumor, especially regarding his relationships with various women. This video delves into these relationships, balancing confirmed facts with the speculations that surround his personal life. Number 1. Rose Elizabeth Fitzgerald Kennedy, The Steadfast Partner Rose Elizabeth Fitzgerald Kennedy, born on July 22, 1890, in Boston, Massachusetts, was the daughter of John F. Fitzgerald, a key political figure who served as mayor of Boston. Her marriage to Joseph Patrick Kennedy Sr. on October 7, 1914, was more than a union of two individuals, it merged two powerful and politically active families. Together, they had nine children, including notable figures such as President John F. Kennedy, Senator Robert F. Kennedy, and Senator Ted Kennedy. Rose's role extended beyond that of a wife and mother, she was integral in managing the family's public persona and was a pivotal influence in her children's political aspirations and careers. Her life was not without its hardships, including the tragic deaths of several children and her husband's stroke in 1961. Despite these challenges, she remained a resilient and influential figure, deeply involved in charity work and advocacy for mental health, partly inspired by the struggles of her daughter Rosemary. Rose passed away on January 22, 1995, leaving a legacy as the matriarch of the Kennedy family, a name deeply etched in American politics. Number 2. Gloria Swanson, Hollywood's Glittering Temptation Gloria Swanson, born March 27, 1899, in Chicago, Illinois, was a leading light of the silent film era, known for her dramatic flair and commanding screen presence. Joseph Kennedy Sr.'s involvement with Swanson began in the late 1920s when his business ambitions led him into the movie industry. He managed Swanson's career and was instrumental in financing her films, including the ambitious yet ill-fated Queen Kelly. While their partnership was founded on mutual respect and ambition, it was not immune to the rumor mill of Hollywood. Speculation about a romantic affair between the two was rife, fueled by their close collaboration and the opulent, scandal-prone nature of the era's film industry. This rumored relationship has been a subject of intrigue in various biographies and accounts of Hollywood's golden age. The professional alliance between Kennedy and Swanson had significant impacts on both their careers. For Kennedy, it marked a notable, though brief, foray into Hollywood, while for Swanson, it led to some financial challenges, particularly with the commercial failure of Queen Kelly. The true nature of their relationship remains a topic of speculation, a testament to the enduring fascination with the personal lives of public figures from this glamorous era of American history. Number 3. Marlena Dietrich, The Alluring Enigma Marlena Dietrich, born on December 27, 1901, in Berlin, Germany, was a renowned actress and singer, celebrated for her captivating performances in Hollywood. Her path crossed with Joseph Kennedy Sr. during his venture into the film industry. Dietrich and Kennedy, both prominent figures in their respective fields, found themselves in the same elite Hollywood circles in the late 1920s and 1930s. Kennedy's involvement with RKO Pictures and other Hollywood productions brought him into contact with many stars, including Dietrich. Rumors about a romantic involvement between them have circulated, driven by their high-profile status and the glamour associated with Hollywood's golden age. However, the evidence supporting such claims is more anecdotal than concrete, largely derived from biographies and historical accounts that often intermingle facts with sensationalism. Number 4. Claire Booth Luce Rumors of a Liaison Claire Booth Luce, born in Claire Booth on April 10, 1903, in New York City, was a woman of many talents, a playwright, author, U.S. Congresswoman, and ambassador to Italy. Her interaction with Joseph Kennedy Sr. has been a matter of speculation. Their lives intersected through their involvement in political and social circles, leading to professional and social interactions. As with many high-profile individuals of the era, these interactions sparked rumors of a romantic connection. Yet, like many rumors surrounding public figures, these suggestions remain unconfirmed, with no substantial evidence to support the claims of a liaison. 
The stories about their relationship are more likely a reflection of the era's fascination with the personal lives of prominent figures rather than being based on solid proof. Number 5. K. Francis, Silver Screen Speculations. Catherine Edwina K. Francis, born on January 13, 1905, in Oklahoma City, was one of the most glamorous stars of 1930s Hollywood, celebrated for her elegant style and captivating performances. During this golden era of cinema, Joseph Kennedy Sr. emerged as a significant player in the film industry, leading to their inevitable interaction. Francis, with her alluring screen persona, and Kennedy, with his business ventures and investments in film production, were central figures in the Hollywood social scene. The rumors of a romantic involvement between them seemed to be a product of the times, an era where the lines between professional and personal relationships were often blurred in the glitz of Hollywood. However, despite the whispers and conjecture that surrounded their relationship, there is a notable absence of solid evidence or confirmation, leaving their connection as one of the many unverified stories in the annals of Hollywood's history. Number 6. Janet Des Rosiers, a mysterious figure in Kennedy's life. Janet Des Rosiers, known to have worked closely with Joseph Kennedy Sr. as his secretary, occupies a discreet but notable spot in his history. During the height of Kennedy's business career, Des Rosiers was part of his inner professional circle. Reports and accounts from the era suggest that their association may have extended beyond a purely professional relationship. Des Rosiers, in contrast to many of the more public figures connected with Kennedy, led a relatively private life, leaving fewer traces of her personal story in the public domain. Her presence in Kennedy's life has been acknowledged in various biographies and historical accounts, which mention her as a figure of personal significance to Kennedy. Number 7. Luella Parsons, More Than Just a Professional Acquaintance? Luella Parsons, born on August 6, 1881, in Freeport, Illinois, wielded immense influence as one of Hollywood's first and most powerful gossip columnists. Her columns were avidly read across America, giving her substantial sway over the public perception of Hollywood's elite. Joseph Kennedy Sr., in his role as a film producer and investor, naturally crossed paths with Parsons. Their interaction was likely multifaceted, combining the dynamics of Hollywood's power play with the media's growing influence. While rumors of a more personal relationship between Kennedy and Parsons circulated, these stories fit the pattern of Hollywood gossip of the era, a blend of truth, exaggeration, and sensationalism. The lack of concrete evidence makes it challenging to distinguish fact from fiction in their association, encapsulating the intrigue and mystery that defined Hollywood's golden age. Number 8. Judith Exner, A Controversial Revelation Judith Exner, born Judith Eileen Catherine Imor on January 11, 1934, entered the public consciousness in the 1970s with her startling revelations about her intimate relationship with President John F. Kennedy. Her story, however, took an even more dramatic turn when she claimed to have had a relationship with Joseph Kennedy Sr. These claims, emerging years after the alleged events, added a sensational chapter to the Kennedy family narrative. Exner's assertions, detailed in her memoirs and interviews, were received with varying degrees of credibility. They sparked debate and speculation about the private lives of the Kennedys, a family already in the limelight for their political influence and personal tragedies. While Exner's accounts were sensational, they were difficult to corroborate, leaving historians and the public to ponder their veracity. Number 9. The Hollywood Circle, a Hotbed of Rumor During the late 1920s and 1930s, Joseph Kennedy Sr.'s involvement in the Hollywood film industry placed him at the heart of a world where professional dealings often intertwined with personal relationships. His foray into this glittering world as a film producer brought him into contact with many of the era's most celebrated figures. This period was marked by the lavish lifestyles and high-profile social events of Hollywood's elite, a milieu in which Kennedy was an active participant. Rumors about his interactions with various actresses and personalities were rampant, reflecting the sensationalist nature of the industry at the time. These rumors, though pervasive, were often based on hearsay and the gossip that fueled Hollywood's social dynamics. They have become part of the legend surrounding Kennedy, a man who, through his business and personal endeavors, became as enigmatic as the industry he briefly helped shape, 